Okay, so you just got a new Rouge tabletop and you're wondering how the hell does this thing work? So here's what it looks like. I'm sure you'll recognize it. Okay, this is the side here. You have the controls, you have the mode, time, and okay. It's like an on off switch or just an okay switch. In the back, you have three things. This little button is a special switch to change from a master to a regular control. So you don't need to use this ever, but uh, I'll show you in a minute when you might. This is the master on off switch, just a regular flip switch. Uh, on is one, off is zero in case you don't know. And then here is where you're going to, excuse me, here is where you're going to plug the uh, power uh, cord. Okay, so let's put in the power cord. Excuse me, okay, here you go. Okay, very simple. And then I'm going to plug this into a wall outlet over here. And yours may be European, Asian, there's many different models. So you hear a beep when you turn it on. You'll see the flip switch, the power switch in the back on off, right? So you turn it on. And on the side, it says 20 minutes. And you'll notice there are two red lights, red, infrared, okay? So if you wanted to do just red, usually you want both, okay? For most treatments, whether it's for pain or for your skin, you're gonna want both. But let's say you have an allergy, uh, to the, your skin reacts poorly to light, for example, and you only want the infrared, uh, you're able to do that. Or if the red bothers you and you're really just looking to get some uh, treatment for your joints or your muscles, what you would do is switch. So the mode, this is red only, this is infrared only. So what happens if it's infrared only, I turn it on and it feels like nothing's going on. And so if you look at it, you will see that there are about exactly half the lights are turned on. Very dim, you can barely see them, little tiny red dots. And that's the near infrared. Okay, these are 850 nanometer. Uh, and then uh, if I want to switch and have both, uh, I would just do this and make sure that they're both on. Press OK again. And then boom. All red. It's not all red, I should say. Red and infrared. They're all lit up. Okay. And if you want only the red, of course, turn it off. Mode again, red only, turn it on. Okay, so it looks a lot the same as when both are there. So the, it's important you understand the near infrared is uh, mostly invisible to the human eye. And so it's normal that you don't see them. But you'll see, if you look closely, you'll see that they're sort of lit up. Okay, so I'll turn it off. I'll show you how to use the timer. Uh, very simple, go to time. Each time you press, it'll go up by one minute and it'll do that up to 20 minutes, okay? And at 20, it comes back to one. The maximum duration is 20 minutes. So let's say, we'll set it for 15 minutes, and that's it, and my mode is red, so maybe I want both, like I suggested. Usually that's what you want, both of them at the same time, maximum benefit, and you turn it on. So you'll see when you turn it on, you hear fans come on, it's normal. There's only one in this one. It's pretty quiet, but it's to dissipate any heat that might accumulate there. Now, we talked about this button earlier. I said I would explain what that is. So let's do that. Turn it off. Okay, so you see now I got my timer. If I hit this, it changes to sub one. That means that this becomes a, uh, um, a slave to a second one. So you could have more than one uh, Rouge units uh, matched together and they snap together using these things. Uh, and uh, they'll, you, so you could put another one on top here and, uh, and so on. You could have up to three uh, of different sizes. So you probably won't need to use this, but that's just in case um, at some point in time while using it, you see this it's not defective, it's because someone accidentally hit that button 
in the back or on purpose or whatever, and so you can just hit it again. And that's it. It just comes back to your regular mode with the timer and everything. Okay. So I think that explains how to operate the Rouge Tabletop. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, you know, you can come on the website. Uh, you can reach out to us through a chat. You can send us an email and you can even call us. So uh, thank you very much for your time. Hope you enjoy your Rouge Tabletop.